Hello, fellow engineers. In this activity, we're going to be following the design process that we learned about last week. So the goals of this activity, so uh, to apply the design process to creatively solve a problem. That's what engineers do. We solve problems. We're going to be researching and brainstorming to develop ideas to solve the problem. And then we're going to develop a model and represent design data that comes from that model, also known as a prototype, to see if we are actually solving the problem. Catch the trend here. So the procedure for this activity, first of all, you're going to watch the lab procedure video guide. That's what we are creating right now. Then you're going to be designing and constructing a paper plane. You're going to determine how efficiently your plane can fly. And as you see how it flies, you're going to be creating data on each flight that you make, and you're going to record it and put it in a table. So the materials that you will need, you will need an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. You will need your Chromebook or a laptop computer. That will also have access to Google Slides. You will also need some type of camera, whether it's on a cell phone, a tablet, or your laptop. So in that activity, this is where this, uh, the video we're making right now is going to be, so you can view it. This is a demonstration about a flight and how you're going to perform an experiment. This right here it demonstrates the data that you are going to be generating. So you're going to be making seven flights and recording the data from each one of those flights. So let's get more into what you're going to be doing with the design process. So you're going to be following that as you make your plane. You, as we said, you're going to measure and record your flight distance. Each flight, you're going to record the distance. We're going to be analyzing that data at a later time. Follow this design brief that we have right here. As you may remember, the design brief is a deliverable of the very first activity. The design brief is what you do when you are uh, defining the problem. So here are some step-by-step -step instructions that you're going to follow. This is a design brief. The design brief, as I said, is developed during the de uh, define the problem phase. What you'll see in the design brief you'll see the client identified. You will see the designer, in this case it'll be you, identified. A design brief also must have a problem statement. It must state what the problem is. So here's your statement of the problem. It will also have a design statement, which is your proposal on how you are going to solve the problem. Also, you will have in a design brief criteria and constraints. Fancy words to say what you must do and what you cannot do. A constraint is a limitation. So we're here a list of the four constraints and criteria that you have. In this case, these are the deliverables that you are going to be generating during this activity. What you're going to be generating is a Google slide presentation. Pay attention to this design brief. This is what you're going to be doing. A Google slide presentation that will include the name of your plane, the name of the designer, you. You must take one to two pictures of your plane. You must take one video of uh, one flight. And then you're going to take seven flights, one of which you video. And in this table, because you're going to be making a copy of this table, this will be yours, you're going to make you're going to record the number of paces, that's just a step, that each flight made. So again, instructions. Read the design brief. Define the problem. Research and brainstorm the ideas. This would be the second step of the design process. That's generating concepts. Define the problem was the first one, generating concepts. Then you're going to gather ideas and sketch designs for your plane. That's the third step, developing a solution. 
You're going to construct your paper plane. That's constructing and test a prototype. Your plane is your prototype. The testing, seven flights, recording it. If you need assistance on how to do that, you can click on this app and it'll take you to a link where you can watch a video on how to do that video. And you're going to make this table reflecting it. You're going to create a slide presentation. This is your deliverable. That's presenting it to the client. And uh, if you need any assistance on how to make the video, go to this link. And this will tell you how to make a video for your submission. And then you're going to submit your slide presentation. You're going to make a Google slide and submit it to uh, Canvas as a website URL link. Here is a video on how to make a paper plane. All the information you need to know in, uh, to complete this activity is right here. And as you can see, this activity is due September 6th, which is this coming Sunday. If you've got any questions, please contact me and let me know. Thank you.